Welcome to Zello. We are going to demonstrate how to do Zello. So this is a program that has to do with careers so that you guys know. All right, so now we're going to go into Google Chrome or at home, you'll go on the internet. You are going to have, you're going to go to Zello, X-E-L-L-O dot world, W O R L D backslash E N backslash. All right. So now what you're going to do is up in the right hand corner, there is a sign in. So you are going to sign in. Now I have Morgan here as my example and Morgan has already reset her password you're going to need to reset your password. So what you're going to do for the username, you are going to use W S D all capital letters dash your student ID number. Okay. Now Morgan's not going to do this, but I want to show you guys what to do. You're going to click on after you put that in, you're going to click on having trouble and you're gonna click on that. Then you're going to enter your school email address. That's your student ID number at student.wsdmi.org, okay? They are going to have, they will be sending you an email regarding set, resetting up your password, okay? And the password that you have to pick is your student ID number. So your password is going to be your student ID number. So now Morgan's gonna go back because she has already done that. So you put in your student ID number. So once you, so once you go to request for help, you have to go into your Gmail account and get and reset your password and it's your student ID number. Then you're gonna come back and log into the screen. All right, so now what we need to do is we first need to finish some things. The first thing you guys are gonna do is in this section, there's the computer right here. Let me scroll down, okay? Morgan signed in and all that. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the section that says about me and you got to check all those things and make sure that you've done them so if there's no green checks that means you haven't done it I have had kids get it done just so you know and some kids are not done with it so you might have a green check you might ha not have a check but you need to make sure you have all green checks on that side okay if you don't, that should take you about an, I would say an hour to do, okay? Now, let's go back over to here where it says, begin your EDP. Morgan is gonna scroll up, okay? The first thing you guys gotta do is your skills, okay? So you're gonna click on that and you're gonna go through some questions. She's gonna click on it and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so it's gonna look like this. And it's going to say, pick three. They're just gonna ask you questions and you just answer the questions. As you're doing this, this green bar will continue and you want it to be at 100%, okay? So now she's gonna click done with that because we just wanted to show you what that is. The next one is exploring career matches. So you're going to go through that. Once you get that done, your green bar needs to be at 100%. All right. So you're going to, she's going to hit done on that one. Then the next one is your transition to high school. So you're going to click on that. If you don't know the answers, guys, just pick an answer and move on. And then that will fill out to the green to 100% when you're done. Then you're, she's going to click on the arrow to hit done again. And then the last one is self-advocacy. Okay. And once again, 
this is what the skill it looks like and then you're gonna wait you're gonna go until it's at a hundred percent all right so you're gonna hit done there so at that point you're gonna have all those lessons done all right then the last two things you have to do is an assignment and those that assignment should truthfully guys take you five minutes to do first you're gonna do is create a long-term goal now a long-term goal can be something that can be up to five years it doesn't mean it has to be something that you do right now okay so creating a long-term goal it might be getting the good grades for me to get into the college the university that I want or looking into trade schools things like that or it could be just a year-long long-term goal which could be making sure I have no missing work in my ninth grade year the short-term goal is something that you want to accomplish in the next six months now let's say your long-term goal is I want to get into a good college the short-term goal would be what do you need something that you can accomplish here to help you with your long-term goal so like your short-term goal is well I'm going to make sure that I turn in all my assignments in ninth grade so your short-term goal can be somewhere between now and up to a year your long-term goal should be something like a year or up to five years okay so what you're gonna do is Morgan's gonna click on the short-term goal and she is going to go down to this she's gonna scroll down they kind of give you an example of a short-term goal and then she is going to write a short-term goal here so she will write her short-term goal once she's done she's gonna click the turn in button okay so then she's gonna go back so it kind of gives you an idea what that looks like then she can create her long-term goal and then it gives you another example here what a long-term goal is and then she's going to write a long-term goal for herself and then she's going to click on turn in so those are the things that need to be done okay now this video will be posted in your social studies teachers assignments under classwork also there will be some handouts that will be posted to help you through it okay so once you have those handouts too that is a great reference guide for you to get back to all right have fun zillowing